see the concrete structure up there. And today I'm doing a slack pack thanks to the First Baptist Church of Sevierville, who is running this free shuttle up and down. Thank goodness for them. Thank you so much. Uh, so slack packing to New Found Gap. So it's about 7.7 .7 miles from here to there. I gotta make it big 2.30 because that's when the shuttle goes back down into Gatlinburg so I can go back to my crazy pants hotel room. Uh, yeah, so it's a little cool, a little windy today, but a beautiful day. My attitude is much better after a shower and laundry and talking to my family and all of that stuff. So onward we go to Newfound Gap. So I knew that had to happen sooner or later. Somebody put a marker on the trail, 200 miles, woo! Pretty cool. This is kind of cool. I was thinking about this this morning. Today is the first time I am officially connecting some of the dots of hikes I've done on the AT before. So in 2019, Justin and I were down here and we came up to Klingman's Dome and saw that. And then we took about a four or five mile hike on the AT to Mount Collins Shelter, which is exactly where I am on the path right now. Um, so I've actually hiked a couple of miles this section I'm doing today before. And I guess up until this year, this was the furthest south I had ever been on the AT. So kind of neat to finally be moving into some of the spots I've seen before and getting to do them again as someone attempting a through hike. So I'll try to uh, put a picture up that we had taken at the dome in 2019 here, but uh, yeah, it was kind of neat to finally be revisiting some places I've been before. I've got something to share that I'm sure y'all will find truly profound. This shit's still hard even with a day back on. So nice little view here and a little spot to sit. And I am fairly certain this is the spot where in 2019, my husband and I found an ass pad hanging in those trees. People are coming, so I'll tell the rest of the story in a minute. So anyway, we found this ass pad hanging in a tree and we were conflicted about what to do about it. So we decided to leave it there. So then we hiked down and had our lunch at Mount Collins Shelter and we ran into a guy who was section hiking who unloaded his pack to stay there for the night and then realized that he didn't have his ass pad. We're like, oh no, we think we saw it. So Justin gave him his ass pad and was really like, you know, no big deal. Like, we'll get the other one on the way through. And uh, the guy was like so grateful and he uh, took Justin's number and like offered to send him money and all sorts of stuff but uh we ended up sure enough grabbing it on the way back out and I was just thinking about this it might even be the one I'm carrying with me on this trip uh now which would be kind of funny uh so yeah uh great memories of day hiking and doing a little trail magic and getting a little trail magic on the AT in the past. Spots like this remind me of home. Back behind me was the turnoff for Mount Collins Shelter. A bunch of people were having lunch so I didn't want to interrupt their lunch to take pictures or video or anything. I'm a little sad I'm not staying there on this trip after hiking there the last time I was here. It would have been cool, but gotta get to Newfound Gap before that 2.30 shuttle back to Gatlinburg. So on we go.
So I don't know if you can see it, but through this little doohickey, there's a wire fence that goes up the hill here, which is apparently meant to keep wild boars out of an ecologically sensitive area. Good times. Goes down that way too. I guess now we're back to walking amongst the flowers. This is the other side of the enclosure that I just walked over. Better get hustling to Newfound Gap. This is quite the uh, stonework keeping the road up there. And Newfound Gap should be just up here, which is good because I hear they have potties and I really gotta pee. So I'm back in my room after going to the restaurant next door to the NOC and destroying two giant plates of salad. They have a all-you-can-eat salad bar, which is there. That's pretty amazing. It's like 20 bucks and you can just stuff yourself silly. So I did. And as you can see, I have a fire going behind me. Ain't it great? You can like turn a knob and fire. Things we can't do on the trail. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take advantage of the craziness of this room and take a soak in the hot tub and probably pass out early. Good day overall. Uh, definitely looking forward to my zero tomorrow.